the one and only. Get in, bucko. Oh, what it do? What it is, player. Oh shit. Let's go. It's not that, not that warm. Huh? It's not that warm. It's pretty warm. Alright, what it is, y'all, what it is, gang. How was that? Decent. So we both work at GNC, me newly, like two weeks. Um and we found I haven't ever seen an energy drink that low that low of stem. It only has a hundred hundred grams of caffeine, hundred milligrams of caffeine. Usually I would say most energy drinks probably have two hundred, at least at least two hundred. Have you seen one with that little? Uh not like, like a pre workout me. energy drink, but just like very rarely. Very rarely. I've never I never have, but I'm sipping on the stem free today. I already had my fix of stimulants, so I don't want to be like stem the fuck out. But we're at the place where they don't really like my kind. Hold up, they really don't. You hate to see it, old planet. But I had to get the fuck out of my gym today. Like it's just been nonstop playing field gym and tan and. Like, I need to change the scenery every once in a while, especially that gym. Like, if you're watching this and you go there, like, I'm sure you get tired of it too, basically. But we're going to hop in here. We're about to hit arms. Uh, this is one of my newest clients, by the way. You already know. You already know Cross. But Cross decided to uh, take the challenge upon himself to better himself over the next eight weeks. Um, yeah, bro. So we got you on a little meal plan. Plan, we, got him, we got him. We got him eating decent foods too. You're not. You're not eating like a pig, or you're not eating like a a bird, a pig. You, you like the food you're eating, right? Yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. Don't lie to me. No, it's I'm not lying. lying. It's good. Yeah. It's good meals. Like, because it sounded. <laughs> I'm feeling full. Yeah. Not really hungry throughout the day too. Yeah. I don't, I don't even really have like cravings for like junk food. Yeah. Got him on a nasty ass training plan too. We're about to hit his arm workout. Um, got him, got him some, you know, little sweets that he asked for that he likes at the end of the day, you know, just to kind of satisfy those little cravings. Like I get them before I go to bed. Um, and yeah, so like over the course of eight weeks, we're just going to work on leaning out his physique and then kind of reverse dieting, adding tissue. But yeah, like I told him, like, I mean, I've known cross for basically my whole life and like I've, he used to be, you know, like pretty fucking jacked in high school definitely bigger than me and like you know i kind of just took like the it's not it's not i just kind of took the bodybuilding route so you know like i you know continued to progress but like it was just i wanted to see him like instill that confidence back in himself and then you know just go crazy in the gym like i don't know like the people around you that you're close to you just want to see like do good for themselves and i think that this is getting in the gym consistently and getting on a meal plan, at least for the time being, is something that's probably beneficial. Oh yeah, do. it'll be real good for like just getting consistency in the gym, just cause when I did work out a lot in high school, it was really like only football workouts. So like, yeah. I and never that, really like went on my own and went on a gym routine and stuff like that. So I never got in the groove of things, yeah. but this will definitely help a lot. That's how, I mean, that's how we got big. And really at the end of the day, like was just football workouts. And a lot of the dudes that, you know, I went to high school with the don't lift now like they were big in high school bigger than me but you know like if you don't stick with it obviously you know after high school like most people don't you know when once athletics and sports is over for them it's just kind of like they don't see the point obviously this is a whole different game for me but it's just kind of goes to show like how you can really you can surpass people and then you can you know be consistent train like we did for football drop it and then pick it up a couple years later when you just feel like you I don't know want to get back to that and just add some structure to your life but hey i'm yapping again i'm yapping so we're gonna get in here i'm gonna shut the fuck up just record some clips for you guys kind of a raw style workout throw some music on that bitch y'all get your popcorn get your protein shake relax <laughs> i don't know
y'all. What up with y'all? It's Sunday. Last day before the new week begins. Uh, getting some stuff done. Sitting here editing the video that you're actually going to be watching right now. And I thought like a little thought popped in my head. Let me show y'all the shorts I'm going to be wearing rocking on stage this year. So uh, the last, let's see. The first competition I did, I got some bullshit walmart like swim trunks orange looking horrible i'll throw a pick up on the screen two the second year i competed last year i wore some alpha elite um the you know just plain black boys black's my favorite color it's fried because me and mariah were actually talking about that last night and she told me that's not allowed to be my favorite color because it's not an actual color i don't know but i like i think Personally, I think I look good in black, so like that's why I went with it. But this year, I'm going for a little bit more flash. So, um, with Chiron Holden being one of my favorite competitors, uh, I decided to pick up his shorts. So, um, let me show y'all these. These boys is clean. Let me see if I can get them to focus. I, I still haven't decided if I want to rock the same shorts for each show. Uh, I mean, is it that deep? Is it not? I don't know. We'll kind of, I'll kind of decide when the time comes if I want to wear the same shorts. But yeah, I wanted to go a little bit more flash, a little bit more personality this year. And I feel like these are very much like fit my personality. I definitely like to rock a more um, tailored, tight fit, like actually like extremely tight. Uh, I don't like baggy shorts i think it takes away from your physique a lot like i'll see dudes on stage even at the ifbb pro level i'm like you have a gnarly ass physique but like your shorts take away from it a lot it's distracting um the more like streamlined the shorts are to your body like more skin tight i would say definitely makes you look bigger because there's less bagginess in the lower part of your body which just accentuates your upper body which is the only thing we're getting judged on i don't know just a personal preference if you disagree let me know i would like to know why but um yeah the, the mr shorts is yeah the mr shorts but uh yeah, i almost said it's a lazy sunday it's not i'm getting a lot done but uh more on that in this next clip i'm gonna take y'all outside kind of give you guys my uh uh you know thought process this week and uh update you guys where i'm at you know kind of mentally but uh, it's really sunny it's kind of cold out but i'll see you guys out there all right what it is guys so I am in a random neighborhood on a random bench next to a random forest, but it looked pretty cool on a drone shot, so I thought uh, I'd sit my ass here and talk to you guys for a minute. So, to keep it a buck, this week has been really off. Um, you know, motivation just isn't existent, and God, I hate when people say, motivation isn't there discipline is to kick in or you know motivation is temporary but discipline is permanent like uh like that shit makes me cringe i've heard it so many times but it applies for this week um you know a better way to put it would be i've operated like a robot this week um my feelings my emotions my uh desires all point me towards being lazy sitting in bed um, and I won't even throw eating off plan onto that list because in prep, I simply do not entertain that idea, like much like a robot, like that is not something that enters my mind. So I can't really say that I dwell on that or think about that, but to keep it like a stack, like I just said, um, you know, I, I don't want to do too much besides sleep. I wake up really, really tired and, um, you know, just the motivation to keep pushing my business, uh, pushing on social media, pick up the camera, do my cardio, um, you know, make it through an entire training session isn't really present. And it's not at all because I don't love what I'm doing. I think it's just... Look, I recognize I'm somebody who really thrives under structure, but... I would say the mundaneness kind of has 
sort of gotten to me to a little bit you know we're uh six weeks into prep and you know like i speak about in prep it's just robot mode at times and at a certain point it's robot mode until it ends um so I think that maybe I'm starting to approach that time period. Not that things have gotten necessarily difficult because I don't think they have yet. I really don't. And, um, you know, you could ask the people around me. I don't think I actually haven't yet. And thinking about it now, saying it out loud, like I probably will. But I think I'm handling this prep better than I've handled a prep before. Um, you know, I, I think my patients are much more present. I think my, I definitely know my work ethic in terms of doing things outside of prep, so outside of the kitchen, outside of the gym, is much more abundant. I'm doing much more than last year, in the two in two years before that too. So, you know, overall it's progression, overall it's positivity, but you know, discipline really has kicked in this week. Uh, I want I'm a very very all or nothing person so I think you know just the beginning of this week not panning out how I wanted it to with not being able to upload as I planned as I very much wanted to and um, yeah I think that kind of you know got to me set the tone for a, the week to not start off on the best foot but you know just like the book I am reading says wow I'm just incorporating all type of shit here um, the book that I'm reading um, the subtle art of not giving a fuck is what it's actually called um, you have to choose what you care about you have to choose choose your problems and um, the chapter that I'm reading right now is really emphasizing basically you might not be at fault for something you might not be the reason a uh, certain scenario or circumstances present in your life but you are absolutely 100% responsible for how you feel towards it and how you react so you know that is is solid information to keep in the back of my mind not even the back the front of my mind but um you know it's sunday going into monday tomorrow is just it's fuel for the fire of just making it a better week hasn't been a bad week but it hasn't been a great week so um i want to start tomorrow off to put it on track to be a great week i got big things going for me you know um i'm I have my first in-person client that I'm starting with tomorrow. Uh, my business, you know, in terms of gaining clients, gaining knowledge as a coach, and just implementing better systems into my program is increasing. You know, there's a an upward trend, which, I mean, what, what more could I ask for for progression, even if it's not at an astronomical level? Progression is progression. Um, but yeah, man, we're just going to keep pushing. Uh, it's where in the single digits of prep already which is fucking mind-blowing that like prep is going by this fast but hey man i'm i am happy to say that i think i'm handling it like a champ and um you know we on track to bring the craziest package yet so uh, we're gonna keep doing that we're gonna keep pushing and uh you know this video i'll keep it a stack with you guys this video is not my best this video is not what i wanted it to be but that's kind of what motivated me to make this clip and you know give you guys kind of a back uh backstory a um explanation maybe why this video isn't up to par quality wise content wise with my re the rest you know um, i i really feel like this video is checking a box this week of being able to upload and my goal is to not have a single one a single video like that the rest of this prep i want to always push my best content my best effort but, uh, you know, that's what it is this week, guys. I know you guys understand. I know everybody has those weeks, not special by any means. Just, you know, kind of giving you guys an inside look on what, you know, my thought process has been this week. But, uh, yeah, you guys already know. Hit that like button. And as always, I appreciate you for watching.